Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this video is take a quick look at the 1CNC Mill Express system. This is the base 1CNC Mill system provided by 1CNC. Very powerful, easy to use, and easy to learn. So let's get started. Well, first of all, on the left hand side of the screen, this is the main toolbar. Now, this is where you can create geometry and you can also apply toolpath. Now, because this is a two and a half axis mill system, here are the types of machining operations that can be applied. You can see there's things like grooving, slotting, uh, engraving, thread milling, two different types of drill operations, corner rounding, chamfer. There's plunge profiling, standard milling, facing. There's a special pocket operation called clean circle. And then the standard uh, pocket operation up here allows you to provide high speed toolpath or traditional style pocketing. Now, if we take a look a little closer at this main toolbar, you'll see that you have different tools for creating points, lines, and arcs, and splines. There's tools for manipulating your geometry, trim tools, tools for creating uh, text, tools for creating dimensions for prints, and there's special shapes. And then there's tools here for working with solid models, which brings me to this. If you'd like, you can hit the open button. And if we come down here to files of type, these are the different types of third-party CAD tools you can load within the Mill Express system. So even though the Mill Express is going to provide two and a half axis machining, you can bring in solid models if you'd like and apply your two and a half axis machining to that using this. So that's very nice. Up here in the upper left hand corner, these are standard Windows command for a new open save. And of course, there's undo and redo. There's also uh, commands for manipulating the viewport here or the view that you have. Having said that, you can use your mouse to do the majority of these things. If I roll the wheel, I can zoom in and zoom out. If I press the wheel down, I can rotate. And if I hold the control key down on the keyboard, press the wheel down on the mouse, I can also pan. So a lot of these commands can be uh, used or executed just by using the mouse if you want to. Up here there's a variety of selection tools that you can use. Of course there's standard select by window, single entity select, select by chain, but there's various other ways to select geometry within one CNC. For example select by color, select by layer, and so on. These are your transform tools. These are the same commands that you're going to find over here, but your transform tools are for doing things like moving, rotating, mirroring. Uh, you can temporarily hide geometry and you can alter geometry. The quick access toolbar, this is really nice. This is a way that you can create a custom toolbar and what you want to do is populate this with your most commonly used commands. So for example, let's say at your shop you create a lot of rectangles. So if I right hand mouse click on the rectangle tool, it gets added over here. Let's right hand mouse click on the parallel and how about we add a circle command. Let's go into trimming. We'll add a couple of trim commands. We'll go into manufacture. Let's add some pocketing profiling. How about chamfer and corner rounding and a drill operation. So all I'm doing is I'm just right hand mouse clicking. You can also do things like add construction plane tools if you want to on there. If you're going to be working with construction planes a lot, you can also add things like verification tools. Again, just by right hand mouse clicking. The nice thing is once you set this quick access toolbar up, it'll always be there. You don't have to uh, keep building it all the time. If you want to remove a command, all you have to do is just right hand mouse click on that. So that's very nice. Quick access toolbar. Right hand side of the screen, this is your NC manager. This is where all your machining operations are going to be stored. This is where you can preview toolpath, simulate toolpath, create CNC code, make edit to your machining operations. You can even reorder your machining operations just by dragging them. So that's very nice. Uh, then there's an area in the lower right hand corner. There's four different things you can do down here. There's a layer browser where you can work with layers. There's a verification browser to verify your geometry. There's a history browser that takes track of everything you do geometrically when working with geometry and parts. And then there's a recent browser where you can load recent part files. You can always open part files by going into open if you want to or insert or merge. You can do that up here if you'd like. But the nice thing about this is this gives you a nice little thumbnail as, as well. Another thing to point out, 1CNC is a multiple document application. So if I were to open up another file, I can work on this file and if I head up here to window, I can come over here and switch back to this. You can even cut copy paste geometry from one file to another. So another very powerful feature with 1CNC is that it's a multiple document application. There's, tool down, there's tools down here for modifying your geometry. There's color palettes for setting up the color for your wireframe and solid geometry that you might be importing. And there's 
tools down here for doing things like changing your view there's a whole suite of construction plane tools if you want to work with construction planes uh, there's uh, display tools this is primarily for solids and surfaces and it just changes the way the view is going to look when dealing with those types of geometry I'm going to go back to normal there and then there's a cross-section tool that you can use and this is very nice if you want to uh, create wireframe geometry on a solid model at whatever level you want so if I click add to screen and then do that you can see now that one CNC has created wireframe geometry at that okay so this is not meant to be a training video uh, it's really more of just a demonstration video for Mill Express so why don't we do this let's create some geometry and then we'll apply some toolpath to that so I'm going to just close that down and I'm gonna click the new button and this is your x-axis here's your y-axis here's your axis gnome in the lower left hand corner and there's your datum I'm gonna hit the space bar and go to a top view and I'm just going to quickly create some geometry here. You can grid point snap if you want to. You can entity digitize and of course you can use coordinate input. So there's an example of grid point snapping. I'm going to undo that. Let's use coordinate input for this. So I'm going to use absolute even though we could use incremental. And I'm just going to use my keyboard for this. So I'm going to start at X0, Y0. Now I'm going to go to X of 4. And again I'm just using the enter key on the keyboard. Let's go minus 3 for Y let's go to how about X of two inches that looks good and how about Y minus two let's go back to X zero and now let's go up to Y zero and when we're done we can just right hand mouse click so it's really as simple as that why don't we add a couple of fillets on here and I want to show you some of the dynamic tools here so if I type in one inch for the fillet notice how I can hover over and one CNC gives me some dynamic feedback here and I can also come up here and change this to whatever I want I'm gonna put uh, 375 in there also note that anytime you put a value in within one CNC you can type in a formula if you want to and one CNC will uh, process that formula and give you the results for that so I'm gonna put a chamfer same thing works exactly the same way we'll say that looks good and let's put a how about we put a, a circle right there at that arc center all right that looks very good so how do you apply toolpath well to do that we'd head over here to our stock toolpaths and for this I'm just gonna do a profile operation and you just take your cursor select where you want to start profiling select the arrow which determines the side and direction and again I, I again this isn't really a training video this is more of demonstration I'm gonna use the tool that I already have here I'm going to say the tool sticks out of the holder an inch and a half and the flute length is one inch and we're using a half inch diameter I'm happy with the speeds and feeds on that these are your different clearance values and this is all dynamic so as you type different values in, you'll see these planes adjust but there's my rapid clearance plane I'm gonna put that at a half inch the top of the material is Z0 plunge clearance is where the tool is going to start to feed down final Z depth will say is 200 thousandths and I'm gonna just leave zero on the sides here for this I don't need an extra finish pass this is how we approach an exit I'm going to approach with a hundred thousand uh, radius arc and we're gonna have 45 degrees and I'm gonna exit that profile with the same parameter so this is really how you approach and exit your profile and there you go there's the toolpath and that gets added here's your machining operation that gets added over here so again if you want to edit this just right hand mouse click and select edit operation and of course you can make any changes that you want here I'll just put in a RPM change another neat thing too is that if you want to make edits to commands a lot of things you can do right here just by hovering over a command and you can actually type in different values here and that saves you the extra mouse click of having to go in there and into a different menu and then clicking through that I'll put that at 3500 let's finish this up by uh, performing a drill operation this is simply how do I want to select my holes well I'm going to use arc center and I'll just come over here and left click and we'll say finish on that and last time I created a tool manually but I want to show you what it's like to pull a tool from the library so I just clicked on the graphic there we'll go to library we'll go down to the drill subcategory I'm going to use a half inch drill we'll click OK and then one CNC calculates the speeds and feeds based on whatever material we have over here so if I change this to copper for example and accept you'll see the speeds and feeds change up there and if you want to of course you can always come in here and make any changes if you'd like to as well I'm gonna tell one CNC to output a can cycle so I have machine cycle set here and I'm gonna just use a G83 and we'll use 200 thousandths as the pec depth 
and so there you go so there's the machining operations that have been added over here on the right again you can reorder these just by dragging them around if you want to edit just right hand mouse click uh, if you want to preview your toolpath you can right hand mouse click and select preview uh, if you want to perform a simulate same thing just right hand mouse click and select simulate why don't we quickly just create some stock here in fact I'm just gonna I'm just going to grid point snap a rectangle for the stock. Of course, you could use coordinate input, but let's just quickly do that. We'll go into simulate, and I'm going to say pick a boundary. Top of the material is Z0, bottom of the material is minus 700 thousandths. I'm going to just left click that rectangle uh, that we had created. I'm going to resize this so you can see this just a little bit better there. There we go. So let's restart this. So here's the profile operation, and then there's the drilling. Okay, so there's just a quick overview of the one CNC mill express. I think I'll end this video uh, just by demonstrating that uh, you can work with solids if you want to. I'm going to just hit no. Let's close this out here. I'm just closing these files down. So if we head up here to open and let's open up a step file. And so I'm going to just take this step file off of the desktop there. Just accept the defaults and click OK. One CNC will load the step file in. And when I hit finish, it'll perform a zoom extents. So remember, mill express, two and a half axis mill package. So though I can't apply toolpath directly to the solid model, we have to apply toolpath to wireframe geometry when using the mill express system. It's very easy to use the model tools and do things like extract edges. So I can take my cursor and I can just left click on any surface I want and one CNC will extract those edges. And then at that point, once you have the wireframe geometry, then you can go in and select that geometry for toolpath. In this example, I'm just going to pocket this. I'll just use the defaults. I want to back up just a second. Notice how there's high speed, or you can uh, use traditional if you'd like, but I'm going to go high speed on that. We'll click next and finish and let 1CNC generate the toolpath for that. Okay, so there's a quick overview of the 1CNC Mill Express system. Very easy to use, easy to learn. You can import solid models, apply toolpath. You can create geometry from scratch using points, lines, arcs, and splines. You can create text, create dimensions for prints. You can even import drawings and have 1CNC convert those drawings into lines and arcs. Lots of nice things within 1CNC. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Mm -hmm.